Uh, well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, welcome back to, to Lincoln Show. Um, feel like coming home, I guess. Yeah, I think it's uh, very much the right time and it's uh, going to be a good decision all round uh, for myself personally and for my family. And I'm looking forward to the new challenge this season. Was it a difficult decision to make? You've been playing at a higher level. Um, yeah, but I mean, coming down and speaking um, with obviously all the staff around here, um, they're very driven and determined to do well this season and hopefully I can sort of aid in that and uh, get them back where they uh, should be. Well, and as you know, there's a real heritage for, for women's football in Lincoln, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I mean, I was homegrown uh, youngster from Lincoln, come up through the centre of excellence, so sort of uh, towards the end of my career it feels right to come back home and, uh, like I said, get them uh, striving to get better in, in a higher league. Yeah, we always understood the reason why Notts County happened the way it did, but it felt like it had a really detrimental effect for a while on, on the women's game here in Lincolnshire. Yeah, I think at, at, at first it was a great idea for, for Notts County, but unfortunately, you know, with the financial implications of the women's game, um, it took it left a hole in women's football for, for youngsters alike. And it's not really been uh, filled until this last few seasons when Lincoln have obviously started back up and got the back in and obviously um, trying to develop the women's team again. And real potential in Lincoln, when you consider the gates that you were getting with the Lincoln City ladies team all those years ago, they're more than match a lot of the teams at the very top of the women's game at the moment. Yeah, no, they have a, a real good fan base, uh, even at the training facility. There's quite a lot there just watching uh, sort of training games. Um, and I think it's uh, going to be good this season all round to try and attract more signings and uh, more players to, to sort of lift the profile for Lincoln and the women's game in general. And do you uh, sort of really um, look forward to having the, the, the senior role in the squad of being able to help develop some of these younger players as well. I'm glad you've used the word senior, yes. Um, I'm going to sort of uh, use what experience and knowledge I've got and hopefully um, use the youth's legs and uh, use my brains and hopefully we can sort of develop a good working relationship this season. But is, I, I, whenever I talk to players that as a senior or more mature or whatever level you want to say, I think one of the things I always get back from people, they, they, they enjoy trying to help develop players who are at the other stage of their career trying to come through. No, that, that's a, it's a big thing for me, myself personally, it's key. I think if I can offer the, the young ones anything, it's obviously get them to work hard and they'll get the rewards from, from grafting on and off the pitch. So any help that I can do with the youngsters coming up, uh, I'll be uh, getting hands on and getting involved. And do you think that to aim for promotion next year, year for Lincoln is realistic? I haven't signed for anything less, to be honest with you. Um, if I didn't think Lincoln um, could go for promotion, then I wouldn't be sort of standing here talking to you now. I think that's their only one goal this season. It's my goal, ultimately. I've not come here towards the end of my career to sort of um, relax. I've come here to, to drive Lincoln back up the leagues and uh, hopefully get some goals for them.